Today we're gonna to be turning a salty keto snack staple into a sweet treat. And this video is sponsored by Thrive Market, but more about them later. In October or September of this year, Sarah and I embarked on a journey to rediscover pork rinds in a sweet way. And Sarah and I really were apprehensive about this experiment because in the past we have been burned, but Sarah and I tried a recipe to make keto-friendly puppy chow or muddy buddies, and we liked it so much that I've made it several times since, and you cannot even taste the pork rinds in this recipe. So Sarah was on TikTok and she came across this video, and she makes strawberry, white chocolate Muddy Buddies using Czech cereal. Why can't this work with pork rinds? And we're gonna try it today. Sarah's favorite flavor combination, by the way, is strawberry and white chocolate or strawberry and vanilla. So she's really excited about mm -hmm. this recipe. So you're gonna be needing a high quality pork rind for this recipe. And Sarah and I actually buy ours from Thrive Market, who is the sponsor of this video. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. Sarah and I saved $28 on this order. We know that so many of you guys don't live near a grocery store that sells keto-friendly products, and Thrive Market does. And Sarah and I love going online or in the app, selecting keto, and seeing everything that Thrive Market has to offer. This time, we got some of this Archer grass-fed beef jerky and some soups by Proper Good. As a Thrive Market member, you're gonna save on every single order of the highest quality organic products and sustainable products. And if you find a lower price elsewhere, Thrive Market will match it. Thrive Market promises that you're gonna make back your $60 membership back in savings. And if you don't, Thrive Market will credit you back the difference. Orders over $49 ship for free with no additional fees. And once you join, you can check out the deals page and you're gonna get additional savings on those items. And who doesn't love cash back? Look for products with a Thrive Cash badge in the bottom left corner. So join Thrive Market today using our special link, thrivemarket.com slash keto twins, and you're gonna get 30% off of your first order plus a free gift of up to $60. Now is the perfect time to sign up. In addition to our 30% off discount, Thrive is running a huge sale on gluten-free and low sugar essentials this week. So I'll just quickly go over what you're gonna need for this recipe. You're gonna be needing pork rinds, like I mentioned. And if you don't eat pork rinds, then keep watching still because you can use your favorite keto-friendly cereal for this recipe. We have used the black pepper pork rinds and we like those. You're gonna want something neutral though. Don't use barbecue or something like that. For this recipe, we bought the pink Himalayan sea salt. We like the juxtaposition of the salty and the sweet with our snacks and hopefully you do too. You're gonna be needing dehydrated strawberries. Warning, this entire bag has about 20 grams of net carbs, but the point is to get the flavor of the strawberry. You could probably get like some kind of keto-friendly strawberry flavoring to use in this recipe, but we just wanted to go with the real thing. So that's why we're using these dehydrated strawberries that we also got from Thrive Market. You're gonna be needing keto-friendly white chocolate chips. You're also gonna be needing a keto-friendly sweetener of your choice, and you're gonna wanna turn that into a powdered sweetener. In the past, we've used allulose. We ran out of allulose. Today, we're using Swerve. So we have learned a lot since we made the original puppy chow a couple of months ago, four, five months ago, when was that? Time's going by. Time doesn't exist, it's an illusion. Anyway, in that video we crushed the pork rinds a bit, but I didn't really get how important that was until I was eating it. You're gonna wanna make them small. And that's because you're not gonna be able to fully cover them to the point where you don't taste them if you make them bigger than that. So really try to crush your pork rinds or cut them into like half an inch pieces or smaller. You can just do it in the bag, which is what I'm gonna do. We will unveil this to see how we did in a minute. Next up, we're gonna be melting our white chocolate chips. In the other video, we used half of the amount because we were using half chocolate chips and half peanut butter. With this, we're just gonna use one cup of the white chocolate chips. So I'm gonna put it in for 30 second intervals. This can burn if you leave it in too long. So just keep an eye on it. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds. And just because it doesn't seem like it's melted doesn't mean it hasn't stirred already. Be careful not to burn it. So it's like halfway melted, I would say. All right, we're gonna put it in for 10 seconds. It's very close. If it's not, then maybe a little touch more, you know? Just give it a little bit of time, it is gonna melt. Okay, let's start with the other thing. This is a lot. So we're gonna go with about a third of a cup. Let's mm -hmm. see how, how it goes. So this is a fourth of the bag, so about five grams of net carbs for this serving. 
You can use whatever kind of sweetener that you want. This is one to one for a regular sugar. Allulose is like 70% as sweet as normal sugar. So adjust how you see fit. We're gonna put one half of a cup into this Nutribullet to blend the dry strawberries and the swerve together. Pulse. It's not plugged in that well. <laughs> to be like a bit more pink. pink. Here's some all natural uh, vegetable food dye. We're gonna add some into our white chocolate because we're cheaters. Don't put too much, we don't want to be blood red. D just one drop. One? Yep. Well, this is mauve, this is not pink. Okay, but we can always add more. Two, you put it, now it's three, so, okay. We did take some of your advice and uh, some of you were quite upset about how we used a bag for both of the steps because we put the chocolate and the peanut butter mix in a bag and then we poured the pork rinds in there and then we switched it all around and that left about half of the chocolate in the bag. And there was just a lot of waste involved with that process. And so we decided to do the first step in a bowl. So let's see how big our pork rind pieces are. Mm, pretty big. See these darker pieces? I don't like those. I'm just gonna pick out the uh, actual pieces that we're gonna eat because I don't want a bunch of dust absorbing all of our chocolate. Now that we've done quality control and sorting, here is our pork rinds. And now we're gonna go in with our white chocolate. I like every piece to have chocolate on it, mm -hmm. all over it, so. It must because if not, you will not like it. And it's going to be the glue that the uh, sweetener sticks to, so... Next up, we're going to use a bag. We're going to go in with like a third of this mixture of the dehydrated strawberries and the swerve at a time. Oh, that's pinker. It's pinker a word. I think that last time we had the entire bag covered. Yeah. So here's how it's looking. So we're gonna go in with our next third. I actually don't need that much, honestly. Okay, so here's the last third. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Maybe too much, I don't know. Once it becomes fully coated and kind of sealed, the powdered swerve, if it's excess, and the dehydrated strawberries, is just gonna fall to the bottom of the bag. So I'm kind of waiting for that to happen. Okay, so we have a parchment lined baking sheet. You, you could just put it on a plate. And we're going to put this into the refrigerator for like 10 or 15 minutes. And then we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try it. Make yourself a good piece. Mm. Smells like strawberry. I don't get any pork rind smell, do you? No, I only smell strawberries, so. Mm. It's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be with the swerve mm -hmm. and strawberries, which is good. I don't mm -hmm. want it to be too sweet. You can't even really tell what is in there if you didn't know. Mm -hmm. It's really good, but if I had to be picky about it, Hmm. I feel like we could have gone heavier on the dehydrated strawberry. Mm. Just because look at how much this is. We used about a fourth of a cup of the dehydrated strawberries because we were trying to go lower on the carbs, but it didn't really occur to me how much of this we were gonna make, right? And so how much would you say a serving size is probably of this? Like this? This probably makes at least five servings of this strawberry crunch. That's what I'm calling mm, it. Good idea. We could have used double the amount of strawberries for double the flavor for one more carb per serving. Or if you guys wanted to cut down on the carbs, you probably could find some strawberry extract to really punch up that flavor. You know, I was thinking like, what about a lemon blueberry flavor with this? The white chocolate, mm -hmm. maybe some lemon zest or- Lemon or and white lemon. chocolate. Lemon white. white chocolate. Lemon white chocolate and maybe like a blueberry, freeze-dried blueberry powder. I'm really liking it. I'm almost liking this one better than the allulose. Really? The swerve? Mm-hmm. I don't eat swerve all that much, but I really like it. 
My husband will actually be able to eat those, so. Yeah, Sarah's husband cannot eat allulose. He's he can, he just, it causes a little discomfort, so, but. So like Emily said earlier in the video, if you guys can't eat pork or you don't really like pork, well, if you don't really like pork, maybe try this anyway, one last time. You could use like a keto-friendly cereal like Catalina Crunch, and we got ours from Thrive Market. And if you want to join Thrive Market, use our special link, thrivemarket.com slash keto twins, and you are going to get 30% off of your first order, plus a free gift of up to $60. If you guys want to see the other video where we made something similar to this, but with chocolate and peanut butter, you can click on the video on the screen, and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are, are the keto, keto twins signing out. Crunchy. Strawberry crunch. Mm. I like it.